Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperix here, back for another LEGO video, and today we'll be opening 15 mystery LEGO Mandalorian minifigure blind bags from the popular Star Wars series streaming on Disney+. Plus. If you happen to be watching this during the release of the Mandalorian Season 2 episodes, don't worry, this video will not contain any spoilers, and also, if you enjoy this video, please take two seconds to leave a like rating down below. Also, if you've missed any of my previous mystery minifigure openings for LEGO Ninjago, LEGO Star Wars or LEGO Marvel, I'll provide links in the description. Be sure to check them out after this video because so far we've been really lucky. This time, the seller included a special pack marked with the logo of the Mandalorian and told me that it includes an extremely valuable LEGO minifigure, so stick around to see what's inside. Alright, well I'm super excited to open up these Mandalorian minifigure packs, so let's jump right into it. Alright, let's get started opening up these Mandalorian minifigure packs. We'll start here with the left pack and see what our very first minifigure is. The minifigure is, looks like we have Cara Dune. Here is Cara Dune along with her extremely large blaster accessory, which is a cool plus. Now, this minifigure comes in the ATST Raider, and she also is from the first season of The Mandalorian, in which we know that she used to be a Rebel Shock Trooper and found her alliance with The Mandalorian for the episodes. So, really cool, but as we're here on the first minifigure, this is a good time to remind you guys that, as in all of these pack openings, I like to give back to you guys. And so, once again, I will be giving away three of the minifigures that I open up in today's video. If you guys want a chance at winning, all you guys have to do is one, leave a like on this video, and two, comment the three minifigures that I open in this video that you would like to win. You can choose whichever three that I open, so watch this entire video to see all of your options. And in a few days, come back to this video as I will be pinning the winner in the comments. So be sure to complete those two very simple steps to be entered in the giveaway. And with that, let's check out what's inside the rest of these packs. All right, second pack here. Let's see what else we can open up for this video. The second minifigure is... There he comes. Oh wait, this looks like Boba Fett. So the seller did actually inform me that a few of these packs will include some Boba Fett or Jango Fett minifigures, and so although they're not officially technically Mandalorian, they do wear similar armor to that of Mandalorian minifigures. So, I mean, they're really cool characters too. I think this guy came in his shuttle back in, what, 2010 or something it was? I'll provide an image on screen of that set right now, but very cool, and let's see what else we can get. All right, let's check out this pack here next. It's standing kind of funny. In fact, it's got a pretty large piece in it. So let's see what that piece is by opening it up. Our third minifigure is, looks like we have, is this Santa Django Fett? I think it is. Now, I think it's kind of ironic that we got both the Fets back to back here, but a Django Fett here in his Santa outfit, which came in the 2013 advent calendar for LEGO Star Wars, has his little sack back here for whatever Django Fett wants to carry along with him, I guess. Pretty cool minifigure, though, but I'd like to see some more Mandalorian <laughs> minifigures, so let's check out some more. I'm feeling that this middle one here might have some luck in it, so let's try it out and see what we can get. Hopefully not another Fett, but if we do, I mean, I guess that's fine. Here's another pack, though. All right, uh, we got the legs standing up. That's always a good sign. Uh, looks like we have an orange Mandalorian warrior. Yes, indeed, we got a minifigure from the Disney Plus series along with a stud shooter here. Let me know down below, do you guys prefer minifigures from LEGO Star Wars with stud shooters or like the original blasters that they used to come with? Let me know with a comment. This one here has a sort of, I guess you could say, burnt orange color for its helmet. Very cool. Got some back printing as well. This one came in that Mandalorian battle pack that LEGO released. Overall, very cool minifigure. Alrighty, continuing on here, next pack see what's inside this one. Oh, okay we got the official mandalorian and the child or baby yoda already wow i thought this may have been in the special pack but it's not incredibly we've already been able to score the main character behind this disney plus show the mandalorian himself here along with his weapon which i always thought was kind of cool and the baby Yoda figurine in Lego, or I should say the child. Now, this guy is pretty valuable if you look him up on like eBay or Bricklink because he only comes in the Razor Crest set. And so this is a very expensive little piece of plastic that we ended up scoring here. But this is a very lucky pickup, and we've only opened up a few packs, so I'm excited to see what we have in the rest back here. Here's our next pack. Let's dig into it and see what else we can find. This minifigure is a Clatoonian Raider. 
This LEGO Star Wars Clatoonian Raider minifigure from The Mandalorian comes with the two blasters here, or at least the one that we just opened up in these packs does. He's got some cool shoulder armor with the two spikes, a nice helmet, and some good printing overall, actually, if you look at him. Now, these figures are really good for army building if you wanted to create a Clatoonian warrior army or just wanted more figs of them, so you can't really have too many of these, honestly, so very cool to pick this guy up. Continuing on with our pack opening here, here's our next one. The minifigure is... Okay, it looks like we have another Fett. We went to back to Boba Fett, but we got a more vintage one this time. This is certainly a very classic look for Boba Fett here. He's got the helmet attached onto his jetpack on the very back there, and it just kind of comes off like this. Just one very large piece. He's just got a plain, solid black head underneath. Overall, though, really cool figure. I love getting some of these older LEGO Star Wars minifigures because it's good contrast to some of the new ones that are coming out right now. If you've watched any of my previous mystery minifigure openings, you'll know that I like doing double pack openings every once in a while, and I think this is a pretty good time for one. So let's try these two right here. We'll open up both of them at the same time. All right, here we are. We've got them both cracked open here, so they're easily evacuated from their packaging. Here we go, two at one time. All right, we got a Mandalorian, and what is this minifigure? Is this like, I think, is this like young, young Jango Fett or young Boba Fett? Yep, this is most certainly young Boba Fett. I didn't notice him right off the bat because I didn't see the hairpiece come out. But nonetheless, over here on the left, we have a Mandalorian tribe trooper or tribe warrior from the battle pack as well, similar to the one we opened a few packs ago. But this guy right here, he actually came in the same advent calendar in 2013 that Santa Jango Fett came in. And so that makes a lot of sense why he's also in these packs since it's the same dude filling them from his collection. So pretty cool. Let's revert back to single packs here, and then we'll open up a double one after this one. But also, as a reminder, we've got this special pack here that's marked with the emblem of the Mandalorian. And at first, I thought this was going to be the Baby Yoda or the child with the Mandalorian minifigure, but it's not. And he said there's no duplicates, so I'm not sure what this is. So stay tuned for that as we will check that out in just a little bit. But first off, here's our next single pack. Let's see what's inside. All right, we have another Mandalorian tribe trooper. I think this is probably my favorite color scheme of these Mandalorian minifigures or Mandalorian warriors that LEGO has created. He's got some interesting contrast back here with his olive green cape, and I think this will be a good addition to my collection. Alright, we're back with another double pack here. I've cracked them both open once again, and let's see what we can get two at a time. Here we go. Wow, that's a lot of pieces. Alright, we got a different Boba Fett, it appears, as well as a different Clatoonian Raider. Both these minifigures are actually kind of weird, so let me explain why. So this Clatoonian Raider has this really funky neck piece on, and I always thought that was the weirdest piece, but I guess there's a lot of LEGO Star Wars minifigures that have some, you know, weird parts to them, or weird aspects, weird designs, all that sort of thing. But this Boba Fett minifigure, it's not really the design, although he is, he's kind of plain compared to the other ones we've gotten, but he's got a different head print. But it's the set this guy came in. He came in this promotional LEGO Star Wars canister. That is a LEGO set type you basically never see. Since the set stood out to me, I actually remember it was for some sort of like Star Wars convention. I mean, pretty cool to get this minifigure though in these packs, certainly not expecting it. All right, we're getting real close to opening up the finale pack back here, but also just as a reminder, be sure to enter the giveaway. All the rules are in the description down below. All right, we got two more regular packs left. So let's see what's inside this first one. Looks like we have a Mandalorian Death Watch Warrior. This minifigure was not specifically made for the Mandalorian on Disney+, Plus, but rather was one of the very first Mandalorian minifigures that LEGO ever made under the Star Wars line. It was under the Clone Wars line, actually, at the time. Came out in a Mandalorian battle pack, but it's kind of like the retro version, right? And so that's why, you know, you can see less detailing on the figure itself, as well as a different head underneath. Second to last pack here. Let's see what we can finish out the common packs with. Looks like we have yet another Mandalorian tribe warrior, but this one has some different green coloring. This Mandalorian is incredibly similar to previous ones that we have opened and looked at in today's video, just with some different coloration on it and some different printing here and there. And last but certainly not least, here is the final pack. It's marked with the emblem of the Mandalorian on it, and according to the seller, it has a very valuable minifigure in it. Now, right before, just want to remind you guys, enter the giveaway, rules are in the description, and also check out the rest of my pack opening videos. There'll also be links in the description down below so you guys can watch it after we open up this final pack here. All right, let's see what's inside, or who's inside, I should say. 
here is the final minifigure. Oh, it's the exclusive white Boba Fett. This exclusive minifigure is based upon Boba Fett's earliest concept art in which his armor was white. And now at that same time, the story and design team were debating on whether Boba should be a super trooper or a Mandalorian or his own standalone character. So that's kind of where the Mandalorian style of armor originated for Boba Fett as a whole, which I think is pretty cool. Now this minifigure in particular was only available through the Star Wars character encyclopedia. This guy will set you back about 20 US dollars if you want to buy him separately though. And so he is a pretty valuable minifigure when compared to a lot of other Lego minifigures. And that's going to wrap up today's pack opening. If you guys enjoyed, let me know with a like rating down below. Enter the giveaway before you leave this video, and also check out more videos on screen right now. The top playlist there is for all my mystery minifigure unboxings, so go check those out if you guys have not already watched all of them. As always, I'm Spitbricks. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.